take the shot. Man. Don't do it, Nick. Take the shot don't in your do mouth. Take that shot. 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 Welcome one and all, we are here, we're doing some drunk versus high trivia. How high are you? I don't know. I've never heard of imposter <laughs> dish, but it sounded more like pasta than yoga. Ned, I wish I had one of those like little dog zapper collars on me right now. <laughs> like just... <laughs> Ned, what Today we're doing Drunk First Stoned Trivia. And joining us today we've got Kelsey Dara and Garrett Bernard because the three of us have a brand new podcast coming out called Guilty Pleasures. Guilty Pleasures is just a show about people loving movies. Movies that you really don't want to admit you like but you watch over and over anyways. And okay, number one, Bella's dad is so f***ing hot. I would ride that <laughs> mustache. Uh, I've been Teen Jacob before the f***ing movie came out. I'm imagining Anna Kendrick as Bella. She's like, wait, what? You're a vampire? <laughs> <laughs> Back, Kelsey, are you sure you want to do a podcast with Garrett? Because that is one of the smoothest voices. I've heard <laughs> oh yeah coming from one of the smoothest faces i've ever seen in my life <laughs> beautiful i love this the way the game works is both teams have got to fill their pies with correct answers from each of the categories geography entertainment science and nature history arts and literature and sports and leisure and now it is time to indulge in our guilty pleasures. I'm not sure if I'm high, but do you guys want to see the soap that I made? <laughs> we are way too zoomed in on Ned. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I, I ingest a lot of weed. I don't think people know quite how much I ingest. You know, we played it as Keith was the cute, innocent boy for so long. But turns out, Keith probably parties harder than all the drunk guys combined <laughs> Keith sometimes. is the oh, bad you definitely do. That's not a... Uh, you were never the cute, innocent one. And playing for Team Drunk Network Fallback. I'm gonna get responsibly drunk, which means on Daddy's Day Off, pretty irresponsibly drunk. Well, I feel sorry for your penis tonight. Moving on to your partner, <laughs> Garrett Bernard. I think I'm gonna go straight from the bottom. Ooh, Should I do yeah. that? Yeah. Should I be a Ooh. miscreant? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, what comet spotted last in 1986 is visible from Earth once every 75 or 76 years. It's gotta be like the Kepler it's comet. Haley's, Haley's comet. That's the only one that always made headlines. Is that your final answer? I like Haley, no, I think you're, I think Haley's is right, yeah. Ding, ding, ding! Ooh. Science, bros. Let's get it. I was sober enough to know that my own answer was wrong, so that means I need to drink more. Because if I'm really drunk, I'll, I'll double down on a wrong answer hard. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Team High, I'm shook it to say so, but smoking weed this evening is Eugene Lee Yang? Question mark? In typical Try Guys videos for versus high and drunk, I have to be the drunk guy. But since Garrick is here, I'm allowed to be high this time. You guys, put your comment below right now. What kind of high do you think Eugene is if the type of drunk he is equals sad? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Moving on, Zach Kornfeld. I'm here with all my friends, genuinely. I don't have any more other than who is here on the Zoom. <laughs> And I'm ready to party. As sad as that sounds, <laughs> all of Zach's friends are right here, right now. <laughs> and finally, our random extra player, he puts more things in his mouth than I do, which is saying a lot, <laughs> yeah. Dean Habersberger. So I'm playing for both teams today, but that means I have to imbibe in both toxins. One of the teams would have had an unfair advantage. It's best that both teams have a disadvantage by having me. Keith, for each team, you get to overrule our answer. <laughs> oh! I, I, I commend that rule. One time, you get to overrule wow. the other. Okay, true or false, the longest and shortest days of the year occur on the same dates 
in the northern and southern hemispheres. I don't even understand what that question is saying. <laughs> it's like poetry. I would say y'all are f but it's a 50-50. The Earth is like this, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like this, it's like this. So when it's moving around. So the dates would be the same in that they'd be the reverse dates, right? The short, the lower half's longest day would be the shorter half's uh, shortest day, or the upper half's shortest day. The question's tough. It should be true because the southern hemisphere is experiencing winter while we're experiencing summer, so the solstices should be on the same dates. It's just well, right. Yes. So they're saying the opposite days. solstices, right? They're well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Can you ask the question again? I just want to make sure I understand what the no. question's being asked. I'm guessing true just because I want to move yeah. on. I think it's I a good idea. I trust you more than myself. <laughs> I would guess I'm true. I'm sorry, it is oh. false. Wow. The longest day in the northern hemisphere is the shortest day in the southern. Yeah, we know, but we couldn't figure out the wording of the question to answer it correctly because <laughs> the same oh, dates could have been meant all four. See, that's what I was saying. All on the same that's two. That's exactly what I was thinking. Maybe in your high brain, you guys got it wrong, so you have to take a hit. I'll be right back. And Eugene, you're drinking your weed because you're like 20, 21 like that. This is going to hit you at like midway through the game and it's going to be <laughs> everything. It's going to be you're so You're going to be game. what we call stupid. Let's okay, do history. Okay. Which of the following was not involved in the world's first successful double organ transplant <laughs> in 1981. The kidney, the lung, or the heart? Good luck. I think it's the lung. We do heart transplants all the time. Kidney transplants are super common. I've never heard of a lung transplant. Yeah, I've never, yeah, I've never heard of a lung transplant either. Who the f does that? I don't even think you can do it. Yeah, you yeah, take yeah, it yeah, out yeah. of there. It's take just it out. It's gonna deflate like a paper bag. Right. Yeah, I don't think you can just trade lungs. Get rid of the lung. Lungs. Nobody Let's does let it lung ride. Trade. I hope you're thirsty because you gotta take a shot, bitches. Shit. You are wrong. The answer was the kidney. Oh, what? fucking that. The kidney, no, bro. Hell hell are you no. drinking? a kidney, dog. Everyone who watches us knows that I'm a sports guy, so let's get a gimme. Let's do this. Zach's our sports okay. man. Who has not performed at the Super Bowl halftime show? Oh, yes. actually, I know this one. Is it Lady Gaga? She performs. Crush Rebecca man. Black. <laughs> well. Or Britney Spears. I do kiss oh, about that's an this actual is question. Bullshit. This is bullshit. This bullshit. is the easiest shit. That is obviously it's Britney Spears. Fine. No, I'm just kidding. Is that your <laughs> final <laughs> answer? Rebecca Black is our final answer. She did not God damn it, before. bro. Correct. Rebecca Black is not. <laughs> bullshit. Hi, Rebecca. Bullshit. We love Pa. Yeah. yeah! For arts and literature, this culinary dish is featured in Cardi B's hit song, WAP. It's a pasta. Yeah, macaroni in macaroni a pot. Macaroni in a pot. It's a macaroni pasta. Macaroni in a pot. That's some wet it's ass. It's gotta be. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> macaroni in a pot. Ding, 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 guys. Yeah. Uh. I was replaying the music video in my head. Yeah, I was just like, like just scrolling through the mind palace of what right. ass <laughs> <laughs> There could not be a better question for arts and literature for Team High. I can't believe this happened. This was not planned. Zach, if you get this wrong, the entire internet is like going this. to hate you. What author wrote Old Possum's book of Practical Cats, a poem collection that inspired the Broadway musical <laughs> Cats? <laughs> You're cheating. Wow. You're cheating. Guys. Wow. I That's pretty incredible. I feel like so much bullshit. of my life has been leading to this moment. It was based on poems by T.S. Eliot. <laughs> that is correct! <laughs> and if you want to hear us talk about cats, we're going to be doing it on our podcast. What's it called? Guilty, guilty pleasures. Guilty pleasures. Guilty my guilty, guilty pleasures. pleasures. Sexy gag. Yeah. <laughs> jerking off two dicks. Yeah, me too. Me too. Sports and leisure. Leisure, yeah. I love leisure. What is the state sport of Maryland? 
States have their own sports? You have a state bird, state flower, state sport. All I know about Maryland is lacrosse's big man. I'll go with that. Lacrosse sounds... Polo! If each sport gets their own... If each state gets their own sport... It could be anything. It could be f***ing canoeing. Archery or some bullshit. I had a good beef sandwich in Maryland once. Lacrosse. 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 Take a shot, boys! The answer is that jousting. Yes. <laughs> see, but like, see, like, I mean. I thought polo for a moment. I don't care how sober I am. There's no way I'm ever guessing the state sport for Maryland is, I'm sorry, jousting? <laughs> as in. Nice I thought you went castles. to Yale. Kelsey? What did I say? <laughs> Yale is a glorified <laughs> brand name for high school achievements. At what German gate did President Reagan say in 1987, Mr. Gorbachev, Gorbachev tear down that wall? wall? They call that a gate? In what? It's a it's a wall. It's a wall. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's in the name. Berlin Wall. This might be a um, like an architectural landmark in Berlin. Okay, you're 100% right. Well, 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 right. it turns out Eugene High is actually a little bit smarter than we thought he was gonna be. Oh, so, I just looked it up on the Google. Y'all ain't never gonna get this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, but it's not my turn. No, I'm sorry, when I went to Berlin, it, it was the first location I went to. So and what is it that? So what was that place called? I don't remember. I was high the whole time. What what part of Germany? Like a neighborhood? It's by the Holocaust Memorial, but that's not gonna do us any good. We're gonna go with Heinrich's Beer Hall, please. <laughs> that is incorrect. Yes. The answer is Brandenburg Gate. <laughs> what James directed both Titanic and oh, okay. Avatar. All right. Oh, it's it's got to be James Charles, baby. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, boy. Hi, sisters. <laughs> okay, sisters, we're going to set up this shot. Now, you're the coach singing. <laughs> sisters. Hi, sisters. So everybody dies at the end. Spoiler alert. Is James Charles your final No. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. We still want to win. do that to us. James Campbell. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding! Eugene, you look so sweet. How high are you? <laughs> All the time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can you see you your little know. secret? I don't have anything to compare it to. Because you don't really get high. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's hitting. Zubin. Who'd you say? Director Titanic? James Charles? <laughs> Are there any sisters out there? Are there any sisters alive out there? <laughs> We're gonna get in f***ing trouble. Hey sisters, will the light folks be seated according to class? <laughs> Did not play the villain Two Face in the Batman movie. Tommy Lee Jones, he played it. Aaron he played Eckhart, it. He or Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer, come on, Val Kilmer. give the man some respect. Val Kilmer, save his name come on. Right. We moving on to the next question. Save his name right. I've if you're gonna say Val Kilmer, Batman you're gonna say his name right. Val, Val, Val Kilmer. Kilmer was Batman. That is correct. Wait, you don't know who Val Kilmer is? No. Yeah. Don't do Val Kilmer dirty like that. Team Trunk, I'm gonna really need you to step it up here on this one. I'm gonna need you to get I'm, one right, okay? Look, Kelsey, Choose I'm your focused. category. Uh, look, I'll do it. I'll do a shot just so. I'll I bet you fucking won't. Right. <laughs> I don't, bet don't you do a shot won't. right now, man. All right, all you right, don't need right. a shot right fine, now. Fine, fine. Your word's not mine. Do it, Ned. Do it. Take the shot, Ned. Don't do it, Ned. Take a shot don't in your mouth. It. Listen to your heart. Take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. He's helpless to a chance. Ned, come on. You want to win? Garrett, I'm doing this because I want to win <laughs> the people's hearts. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Ned! What sport includes a maneuver called a ballet leg? Figure skating or something. Mm, fencing. And also, synchronized swimming is a good guess. 
What are all the sports? Let's just go through all the sports. <laughs> Figure skating. Keith, mm. would you like to use your one time to overthrow their answer? Yes or no? Yeah, it's gymnastics. You dumb bitch, you were synchronized <laughs> swimming, you had it. Oh no. Eugene, my sweet angel. I've Hi. never wanted to like cuddle with Eugene more in my life than right now. He's, he's very cute when he's high. He's sweatshirt <laughs> and he's little, he just looks so cozy and cute. History has its eyes on you. Eddie Hamilton fans. Okay. What is it that those who cannot remember are condemned to repeat? The answer's the name of the category. What? Isn't it history? If we don't remember history, we're doomed yeah. to repeat it. Those who do not remember history are doomed to repeat, repeat, repeat it. it. It could be the past. No, it's history. Keith, it don't is. forget, <laughs> you have the chance to overthrow one question. The past, please. Keith has officially overthrown Team High's answer That's of history. Good. I am so, so sorry to say that you are correct, Keith! You are so I'm saying Spain, but Spania. Incorrect, you genius, you genius! And see what consequences happen. What are you gonna do? Reach through the internet and hurt me? True, 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 true. Uh, take a shot, you dumb. What? I'm in control of the zoom. Okay. I can kick you out. <laughs> they didn't teach that at you. Uh, What's the top? Boom. Oh, yeah. The numerator, duh. Keith, <laughs> if you talk out of turn, over five times, they can take your shirt yeah, off. Yeah. Team drunk. Oh, should I put on my fucking Try Guys sweater? Wait, one second. Before yeah, I answer, let me put on my goddamn Try Guys. Let me put on my goddamn Try Guys sweater. As game boss, I'm implementing a rule that everyone has to go change into something else right now. Go. Wait, where'd everyone go? Wait, where'd everyone go? Why are you guys go? Where'd you guys go? Wait, wait. Did we finish the game? Are we done? No, 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 I'm coming back, Eugene, no. I said everyone has to go put on d different clothes. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Team, team play. Not, I don't know why you all ran away. I got so confused. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that scared me for a second. I thought it was like, um. Oh, my seven. God, the raptor? <laughs> yeah, Whoa. except knowing the people in this, Kelsey, you would not have, you would be right here. So. Yes. Which is not a type of yoga. Uh. Kundalini, Hatha, or Reta. <laughs> I hate this f***ing game. <laughs> I know, oh what God. the f***? <laughs> there are so many sports questions. It's got to be Kundalini. <laughs> it's got to be kind of like this. It's, it's kind of uh, like yeah, this. That's like a mix of like Kundalisa rice or something. <laughs> no self-regarding Italian is like, oh, I... Garrick and I both agree. We think it's Kundalini. I think you're right. Kundalini is a type of yoga. In fact, like one of the most common types. Kundalini. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's Kundalini with a K? Yes. Oh. oh. Yeah, because we were picturing C-U-N. Kundalini. Kundalini. <laughs> Wait, when, you, when you said it was Italian, I was like, it must be Italian. It's not Italian. I was like, pasta, like, Kundalini. Kundalini with a K. It changes it just a little bit for me. God damn it. Kundalini. Like that. You, you really thought it was a like pasta dish? Ow, Ed! I never heard of a pasta dish, but it sounded more like pasta than yoga. I don't do yoga, dog. I'm doing the white claw for good luck. Do it, you pussy. Which of the following <laughs> is not a real animal? <gasps> the, the cookie cutter shark. Oh. The Poison dart frog. That's real. Or the smiling platypus. When you were a kid, what did you love? Sharks. When you were a kid, what else did you love? Cookies. 
You think if there was a cookie shark, we wouldn't so. know about that shit? Yeah, let's just say a cookie cutter shark. Is that your final answer? Cookie cutter mother shark. Or all the pie. Give me that pie. Ah, it is smiling platypus team drunk. You still have a chance. <laughs> oh my god. You got a chance, what is baby? a cookie cutter shark? I gotta look that up. I gotta look that up. Bring it on, Kelsey. <laughs> He wants the geography. We're gonna go down in flames. You guys, not at all. The card that I picked would have been such a good sports and leisure because it's finally Ned heterosexual male sports question. <laughs> the geography question on here. I am praying for you both. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to sports. There. Sports and leisure. Let's see sports and leisure. Jane Boss is giving us a little help. Let's see sports and leisure. She's giving us a little. I will cut a deal with you. I will absolutely give you this sports question. If you they give this oh. geography question to end. You're no. the game boss. You're goddamn right. I feel so drunk on power. What is it called when you score three goals in a hockey game? Holy shit! <laughs> You're this could have been a question. This is your this question. Time. This is your question. This is your question. Trick. The hat trick. Fucking, like, this could have been trick. a fucking question. This Eugene looks trick. frozen. This is important. Eugene, are you high? Fucking hat trick. Everybody knows. Ned's, Ned's voice hurts my ears. Oh my god. Maryland is known for its jousting. <laughs> <laughs> I will never Fuck forget. Man, dog. You guys, this is so intense. I was not expecting this to end on the final question for both teams. <laughs> Team High, do you feel like you can do it? Yes, also they went first, so we are technically still in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meow. 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 What? Meow. 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 Color. <laughs> Meow. Does litmus paper turn when it comes in contact with an acid? Yes, bitch. Doesn't it, doesn't it turn blue? Blue is one of the colors it turns, yes. Now I'm back in my classroom and I'm just looking at my litmus test, my paper, and I think it's, I think it's blue. What's your final answer? Blue. Ned, do you want to answer this one? Hell yeah, brother, it's red, bitch! <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Red, he's wearing the goddamn color. Yeah. <laughs> and he's winning your brains the whole goddamn time. <laughs> if you get this right, Team Drunk, because he went first, Team High still gets a chance to answer their science question. And Woo! if they get that right, we will go into a tiebreaker. But this is just very exciting. Whoa. This has been very exciting. What is the name of the currency of China. The ruble. No, no that's Russian. The we, we got this. Well, wait, don't you need the multiple choice? Do you guys just want to say oh, yeah, 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 no, no, no. You guys are confident. You guys are confident. Guys are confident. The renminbi or. No, that's India. The dollar. What? Oh, wait, no, it is the renminbi. Ruble is Russian. Could it's just be rem. a Chinese dollar. They, they call it rem. Oh. There's no, I, I haven't heard of a Chinese dollar. I think I've never been to China. Answer. You went to China, Ned. I did go to China. Who was in China? It's definitely not a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was called Remibi, but Rem sounds familiar. Is that your final answer, Team Drunk? I would, I'll, I'll agree with Ned. Correct, you guys completed your five! Yes! 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 This game baby. is so insane. You guys have the chance to also complete your pie, and yeah, we then we will go into the final death question that I will make up. Which of the following animals gives birth instead of laying eggs? A whale, an ostrich, or a platypus? This is f***ing so bullshit, it's bro. It's a whale. It's a mammal. It's a whale. Everyone knows a whale. It's a mammal. It's, a whale. it's the biggest it's a whale. one. That is correct. We've got two full f***ing pies. Are you f***ing kidding me? I never thought I would see the motherfucking day of Trivial Pursuit Drunk vs. High go into a sudden death match. Wow. 
Wow. The death match question is going to be about me, because I'm the star of this wow. show. What is Kelsey's favorite number? I thought you were gonna say what? phone number, and I was like, this is fun. Tell me we do this whole f***ing trivia show. Yep. The final marbles are coming down to us guessing your favorite number. Uh-huh. Also, who has favorite numbers? <laughs> me. I'm gonna change my number based on what you keep and you didn't say. 27. 14. F*** you, that was my number. All right, I'm gonna say nine. I was gonna do my again. Good number, loving the number. I'm gonna say six. Well, Zach, I wanted to say 14, but I guess you got the jump on me, so I suppose I'll say 15. Ned, I'm gonna give you the chance right now. Do you wanna switch numbers? Hell no, brother. I'm gonna take my last, last place Okay. And do it oh. correct. Oh. My favorite number is 17, which means nine was a oh. Yes! Oh. Let's go, baby! Let's go. Come on now! Let's go! Let's oh go, Shelby! I know you're the longest! Let's go! I'm sorry, is that Shake Shack for the loser? Do I, do we have Shake Shack? I think so. Oh my God, what? I have it. <laughs> you don't get it, Gary? No. <laughs> we definitely didn't get any. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, baby! <laughs> I just got confirmation from Alexandria. Everyone is getting Shake Shack. You just don't have your shit. Well, congratulations, Team Drunks, but congratulations to all listeners everywhere because you got a new podcast to listen to. Guilty Pleasures, it's out now. Thanks, Garrick and Kelsey, for being here. James Charles for president. You guys should totally get me to model this because I wear it every day. I'm bored. Frankly, you look better in that hoodie than any of us ever. Mm -hmm. You guys look like grown men in dinosaur outfits. I look <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>